G'day guys, welcome back to Reach Me or Teach Me. Uh, just done Bo Jackson, and oh, this is exactly why I'm so in love with having started this channel. Now I'm about to jump on board with J Wayne Gretzky. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows Wayne Gretzky. I know of Wayne Gretzky. Um, I know he was, if not still, the greatest of all time when it comes to ice hockey. But I have never, ever, ever seen even a second of him playing. So... I am super pumped for this. I hope you guys are as well. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, hit the notification be button, bell, whatever you want to call it, just hit it. Let's go. And a rhetorical question. If you wanted to get somebody in the NHL to demonstrate the art of puck handling, who would that be? Here's Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> He's in slow motion, but they're just falling around him. Have a look at this. <laughs> I think the goalie ends up, they all end up on the ground. Like he's just, look, look at it. He is in slow motion. Hey, hey. So it's the changes of speed. He's got that slow, fast, with even with the stick, not just with the skates, but that deft touch. He's 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 playing against the best of the best, but the way he's doing it is kind of like when you get a pro versus like some juniors at some camp, where he's just having fun with it and showing off and basically embarrassing them. But I don't think he's doing it maliciously. This is just his. His greatness. Oh, I can Oh, yeah. It was like a chess master that, you know, you might know how to play chess. You might know how to move the pawn like I know how to move the pawn. But I know what's going to happen 15 minutes Again, ahead. the weight on that pass. It wasn't, he, he just, he knew. Old mate was coming through, sussed it out, did the maths in his head. Just a little flick, just a little cross flick, nothing special. Didn't put a heaps on it, just so that it was just the right spot for his team. You only know what's going to happen. One more time. Oh, so much time. Again, like, watch Connor or, or even Austin Matthews, and they were electrifying with their stick work. He is, um, like, the personification of grace and stick work. It's, he just bamboozles them. times I've seen that move already where he's coming down one side and then he does a big almost hezzy or a fake before he actually then commits afterwards <laughs> a deaf touch and he, there's so many jukes and fakes and it's it's different totally different to every other player I've seen so far
over and over again. It's these fast, slow, fakes, hezzies. It's so different to how every other player I've seen play is. Was, was the game... I don't imagine the game was played slower then. Like, ice hockey is one of the few games I feel like still has a lot of its... Or maybe not original, but still has a lot of its similarities from this sort of day. I don't know. I'm very naive in saying that. Very uh, ignorant in my assumptions. But it just... He seems to be playing... Um, he's like, who was I, who was I saying that was on a different time scale to everybody else? Oh, damn it. I can't remember, but he's got so much time with the puck and I just, I don't know if, if it's just him or was that a, was it a different style of game back then? Or like, is it, is it faster paced and, and things now, or is he just otherworldly, which I'm assuming that's what the situation is. He was the worst stick in hockey, and he had one of the best shots in hockey. Gretzky stopped it. Head away from home. Slow coming back. Now he's going to get a shot. Gretzky scores! Picked it right out of midair! What the f***? He did. He hit it in midair. Wow! That's insane. That's crazy. He has, again, very ignorant of me to say because I've seen very few players, but seems to have a really big backswing on his arc, or back arc on his swing. Um, or shot. Um, but is that all again just mind games? Is it just as he's putting it up because you just never really know when the shot is coming? I don't know. Oh, yeah! The loop de doop. Another one I'm seeing quite a lot too, where he will go one direction, but he'll part like shoot to the opposite side, which scientifically is really reducing the angle of the shot down and making it harder to actually execute. But because he's making the goalie shift over with him, if he gets the angle right, it's an open goal, even though it's only a very small opening. But he's just he's just on a different planet. <laughs> Going left, shooting right. couple where he 
went one way and then shot around that same side. He went right once and then he went left once. That's more common for what I've seen so far anyway for the average one-on-one shootout style goal attempt. But over and over again in this video, and he's done it from close, he's done it from far, he's, he is skating left predominantly because he's a lefty. He'll be skating left and he will shoot that up into the top right-hand corner of the goal. And the window that he has is not, almost non-existent. It's just negligible. But he hits that. It is just... The control of the puck is just beyond me. Here it is again. Nobody saw the ice better than Wayne Gretzky. Nobody ever passed the puck better than Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. And nobody ever knew what you were going to do before you even knew it than Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, well summed up. I reckon that's that's what I'm getting from this guy. It's, it's cerebral from him, eh? He's playing mind games with the opposition. Yeah, sick pass. Oh yeah, not a. That's a nutmeg lead pass. That's magnificent. The hurdles are going to get more destroying goals. So let's just look at this. Mark the passing again. Everybody in New Jersey backing up. The back pass. Another forehand pass. He's got open net there. Then gives it back. Oh. He passed it in. Wayne Gretzky. Now he's putting out a little show here. There's a quick pass. Going in I, I, I loved Connor and Ovi. And Austin, I think I said at the time, was I reckon he was just about pushing to be my new favorite player. I, I can't. I can't go past this man. I love someone who has that um, cerebral control of a game. He's essentially playing a point guard role, if you'd like. And he, he's, again, he's taking so much time and he's sussing it all out, seeing where everybody is and how they're moving. And he's, he's, he's exactly what these guys have been saying. He's playing chess and he's a move or two ahead of even his own teammates. I I think I would really have loved to have seen this man at, at work. It would have been so good to watch this guy tear apart oppositions with his brain. Ah.
We clutch, we grab, we hook, we hold. In the obstruction era. Okay, so there's been significant rule changes somewhere along the line. Obstruction era. So in in my sports that I'm familiar with, obstruction obstruction is when you're actually blocking the tackler from getting or the defensive player from getting to the offensive player. A um, bit like a blocker in NFL does, um, which is legal in NFL, but in our sports it's not. Is that what they mean by obstruction, or is he obstructing the defender's from getting to the puck with something, what's the obstruction rule? And we do everything possible to neutralize skill for 50 minutes, and then we try and steal the game. And then we, and we do everything. We clutch, we grab, we hook, we hold, and we do everything possible to neutralize skill for 50 minutes, and then we try and steal the game. Okay. So that's basically play dirty to keep you in it and then try and steal the game at the end. Okay. Oh yeah? Okay. Okay. So it's more about attacking the man rather than attacking the puck, from what I can see. to school so this is very similar to the whole jordan era and the jordan rules where basically they they stopped trying to stop him from scoring they just tried to take him out um so again he's just on that elite level where you can't compete with him with stick skill you have to get you have to resort to other measures to try and slow him down Gretzky's right, signature yeah. on hockey was his ability to get the puck behind the opposition goal, and everybody calls it Wayne Gretzky's office. Well, Wayne Gretzky dominated down there. You could be a big defenseman. You could be a fast defenseman. You could be a skilled defenseman. You could never contain him down low. And lots of teams try to come up with different strategies all the time. Two people can just on him, force him to his backhand. Either way you did it, any way you did it, he was going to beat you. That's interesting, because I've never seen that before. I know I've seen them skate around the back in general sort of motion and play i've never seen someone just sit behind the goal and basically say come and get me because if you come and get me i'm passing it to him and he's going to score seen anyone with so much time.
he turned me into Owen Wilson. I'm just sitting there, wow, 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 wow. Oh, far out. I, I'm... I've seen a lot of amazing, talented sports people, players that were beyond elite and generational, and a, he is so far above his competition. That that was that was just, and, and again, it was just his control of the puck, the control of the game, control of the defensive players. He got them to do what he wanted. All those fakes and those little hezzies and little shifts and holding the, the shot for a little extra second before he does it. Sometimes he'd slap it quick. Sometimes he'd crank it right up and going left and shooting right. And just the the mastery of angles, the cerebral calculations and and... I can't even like the I can't even think of the right superlatives. He just I am so completely mind blown with his sheer ability. Wow. Just wow. Owen Wilson, wow. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Super, super duper happy I've checked him out. I, I, I'm just speechless, I really am. If you've hung around this long, guys, and you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, with a bit of luck, we will see you in the next one.